Hey you guys, it's Amy from A Red Spatula. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, we are gonna tackle a bait called a galette. And galettes are, I love them. People call them a rustic bake. They are much easier to do than a pie. It's basically a free form pie. And so what we're gonna bake today is called a raspberry galette. And when you see how simple this is, you're gonna wanna bake it over and over and over again. You can use either fresh or frozen berries. You'll see in the video that I'm using frozen today because it's off season. But I think you're gonna love this, so check it out. Every Colette starts with a base of pie dough. I'm gonna include my favorite pie dough recipe in the link, and I highly recommend this. If you don't wanna make your own, you can always buy it store-bought. <clears throat> now what you do is you roll out your pie dough. This does not need to be perfect at all. You can see the shape of mine isn't perfectly round. And then um, once it's rolled out, you're gonna gently move it onto a parchment lined baking sheet. You don't have to use parchment, but it certainly makes cleanup a lot easier. And then we're gonna start with our filling. I used frozen raspberries, and then I used cornstarch to thicken it, and I sweeten it with granulated sugar. Dump that filling into the center of your prepared pie dough. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is you pleat the edges of the pie dough. And so you can see here that I'm gonna take the edge and I fold it over. And then about every two to three inches, I'm gonna um, pleat it over and you're gonna do this all the way around the pie dough, just pressing gently to make sure it stays in place. <clears throat> my fingernails are a little bit long, you can see my indentations in the pie dough, but you do this all the way around. Now the next step is optional, but I feel, think it really makes a beautiful galette, is I brush it with egg wash. So this is a mixture of egg and milk, and you're gonna brush this all over on the bottoms and the cracks. Uh, and when this bakes, it's gonna give it a really pretty sheen. And then I also sprinkle it with more sugar. If you're opposed to that, don't do it. And then here you go. This is the finished galette. I usually cut it into eight, eight pieces. You can cut it bigger or smaller, of course. You can eat this galette just like it is, or you can top it with ice cream. That's the way my husband loves it, vanilla ice cream. It's great for breakfast, dessert, or anything else in between.